Hi there, so I'm Kieran Hines, uh, head of our industries team at Oba, and I'm joined here by uh, Soraya Randawa, who uh, is head of research at MAPA. Oh. Hi, Kieran. Hi, so uh, sorry, fantastic to have you here at Digital Futures today. Bear in mind, MAPA's research and the focus on the retail banking space. Be really keen to find out your views on uh, what you've heard so far today and how that's uh, lined up against the research that you and the team are doing. Well, I think it's completely relevant because, um, particularly like what you highlighted in terms of the PFM space. So, how do actually how do banks use all that data? to really personalize uh, that information, actually deliver value to customers from a personal financial management space. So of course here at MAPA, you know, like what we look at is what, how, what does that interface deliver? What does PFM look like? You know, how do customers receive that information? And you know, that all rests on the backbone of having fantastic AI, that the AI knows exactly what the, who the customer is, it feeds through the data that it's personalized, that it's actually quite specific, and it's relevant, and you know, in that way, that relevance delivers value to that customer. Absolutely, and that I think is what's so great about what you guys do at MAPRA and the fact that you have that view behind the login and you can see you know, what that looks like from the customer point of view. And you know, from our point of view and the work we do, we see um, other applications for AI but you're behind the scenes as well, perhaps yep. around um, improving uh, origination and product applications and those kind of things. And I guess you're seeing that kind of stuff as well in the work that you're doing. Yes, and I think I think exactly. So I think for us, that's actually one of the most more advanced elements in there, right? To be able to sell to the customer, knowing what the customer wants, knowing how whether that's actually again back to the relevance of the customer, because it's not just about the initial engagement, about making sure that they continually engage with our app or, or digital banking or just with the bank in general, but actually that any information that customers want is actually fed to them that in a relevant way and also you know cross sold in a very relevant. Um, another area that I thought you know, that was really great that you covered was actually um, around customer support. So, you know, the one area that we felt, you know, when we look at all the apps, um, and even you know, some, you know, some of the chatbots that we see, we see a lot of a lot of financial providers falling down on that customer support function. Yes. Absolutely, and of course, as you know, there's a very important need to enhance the customer experience, but also from a bank, from an operational point of view, to try and uh, move some of the traffic away from the call center yeah, and the branch and so on and to enable uh, self-service, which of course helps you as a bank do all those good things around cross-sales and other uh, product opportunities. And I think that's that's correct because, you know, in in seeing the sort of models that Open has built, right, if you don't get some of the stuff right, um, you know, if you're not measuring, when you think about when you implement AI, you don't get it right, the customer you don't the, the customer doesn't give you many chances, right? So once you once you go into there and the chatbot doesn't really work, well, are you really going to use that chatbot again, mm -hmm. um, or are you just going to go back on phone because you know they've sort of failed you? So I think yeah. that's something that we, we, we're more and more looking at. You know, how well does the, the AI deliver great customer experience, particularly from a customer facing point? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, on the uh, in the session that you, you were in before, we uh, we showed our survey data of recent ICT Enterprise Insight study, which we surveyed the whole yeah. four or five hundred banks on uh, their plans and uh, intentions for the year ahead. Were there any surprises there? As we saw that certainly compared to the, the telco and media sector, uh, a bit less activity from the banking space when it comes to artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, more activity when it comes to big data and less yeah. activity. Was that, that surprising? I, you know, I love, um, I think what Aditya said um, in terms of that, in terms of said that big data is sort of a leading indicator, right? So I, I, I think you know, we are we are probably not there yet in terms of having a full understanding of actually how to truly capitalize on that data. Yeah. And I think something that it was uh, Gemma from Telvonica said, right? You know, it's actually about being selective with that data, knowing what data is important, what data do you actually collect, and what data you're actually going to use. And I think it's it's still there. I don't think um, it, it as these organizations are as joined up as uh, as they should be just yet. They are moving there. We're seeing some some players doing better than others. But you know, um, but in terms of when you see the actual interface, there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, yeah, of course. And channel silos, product silos are all there for banks yeah. and other yeah. enterprises yeah. too. Um, fantastic. So right, thank you very much for your time today. It's been great to speak to you. Great. Thanks so much, Karen.